Okay guys, so I'm in my kitchen now because um before I even like filmed the video with you guys, um I have my pudding sitting in the refrigerator and it's like the box kind where you make it and I love how like I can make anything else but I can't make pudding for some reason. It's so weird, like I don't understand like it's like I read the directions carefully. The directions there's only a few directions. And for some reason, um, this pudding is like still liquidy, as you can see. I'm like, and I left it in the refrigerator for like maybe an hour or so. And I'm gonna read you guys the directions here. Okay, so these are the directions. It says two cups of cold fat-free milk, which I used almond milk. I don't know if it's because I used almond milk, but that's the only milk I can really have because I'm lactose intolerant. And it says beet pudding mix and mix and uh, milk with whisk two minutes. And all right, I like just stirred this two minutes with my whisk, and pudding will be soft set in five minutes. Mix four cups serving refrigerate like the leftovers and everything. So I don't know, like I just took it out of my refrigerator because before I was stirring it with something else. But now I am actually using my whisk to stir this with. And, um, I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I need to let it sit for five minutes. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know how I made pudding wrong. Or, I don't know how I even messed up on pudding. And if I fully did mess up on it, I'm thinking about making, like, pudding pops. And this is butterscotch. And I've been craving things with butterscotch. Like, I have butterscotch ice cream, butterscotch pudding. Like, I've been craving butterscotch things, and I really love butterscotch, especially butterscotch lollipops. And, um, the thing is, like, if I ruined this pudding and made it, like, too liquidy, as you can see here, then, um, I might just make pudding pops out of it, and, yeah. And if I do, I'll show you guys and see, let you guys know how that goes. Okay, guys, I just got back from Cassie's not that long ago. <clears throat> Um, about the pudding thing, my pudding is still, like, pretty liquidy, as you can see. So, what I decided to do with my pudding is to make pudding pops. And I don't have my makeup on, but, um, you know, I still look good without makeup, as long as I'm in some good lighting. So, um, I'm gonna take one of my ice cube trays and empty them. Well, I mean, I put some of these ice cubes in the animal's water dish, because it's really hot out today. And then, um, I'm gonna make some butterscotch ice cube bites or whatever. Okay, guys, um, I don't know if the camera's gonna fall, but I just emptied my ice cube tray out. I put most of them in my cat's food, uh, water bowl, and my two dogs' water bowl. And then, what I did with the rest of the ice cubes is I put it in a little baggie and then put it in my freezer. So, I'm gonna take my butterscotch um pudding since it's still kind of liquidy and i messed up on it and this is like a cool idea if you guys mess up on a pudding and i think i'm the only one that messed up on pudding but i followed the directions it told me to put two cups of milk in there and that's all i had to do and stir it and i messed up on pudding somehow i don't know how well i think i'm gonna get a spoon and scoop the pudding into these little four trays and you can make butterscotch pudding um ice cubes or it might come out like an ice cream form i'm not exactly sure um i'm guessing it will because it has milk in it so i'm gonna grab a spoon here and try maybe i should grab a big spoon and see how this goes and just pour it in i don't know if you guys can but sorry for the noise um across next door it's because um, people are working on the apartment next door and they do like a lot of construction on it for people to move on the second floor. But yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just putting this pudding in here and you could do this with like any kind of pudding. I know my mom's friend like that lived in the alleyway in Pennsylvania. She made these like strawberry like ice cream bite things and they were so good. But um, yeah, you could do this with any brand of pudding, especially if you mess up on it like me <laughs> and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in the freezer and it's gonna freeze just like probably ice cubes but i think because this has milk in it it might turn into like an like an ice cream kind of 
thing. So, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll show you guys when this is done. And then I'm going to move on to the next one here. Yeah, um, a good thing to use is a spoon for this, guys. If you have, like, a big spoon like this, and if you don't have a big spoon, then that's fine. You can still use a little spoon. But, um, definitely a spoon is best to use for this. Just because it's the perfect size, it doesn't make too much of a big mess or anything. As long as you're careful. Okay, guys, I just got done putting butterscotch pudding in all these trays right here. And I have some left over. So what I'm going to do is put the leftovers in baggies right here. And I might put it in the refrigerator and see what it does in the refrigerator. And maybe it'll come out different from that. I don't know. I'm just trying it out to see what it will do. And, yeah, I'm going to probably put it in there for like an hour or two, depending on how long it takes. Take it out and show you guys if it worked or not. See how it came out. So, I will be back. Okay, guys, I just put the jello in, or the pudding, it's not even supposed to be jello, um, the pudding in the refrigerator. So, I also put the other pudding in the ice cube trays in the freezer. So, I did like two different things to see how it would work. And I don't know, maybe it will work differently. But when it's done, I will um, show you guys it. <laughs> so, this video is like my pudding making fail because apparently I cannot make pudding but I can cook everything else but pudding which is like the easiest thing to make guys I have to stand on a chair because I'm so short um these haven't even been in here for like 20 30 minutes and they're already like frozen so I'm gonna take them out and see how they actually are Okay guys, um, I took a little bit of that one right there just to try it out and it's still a little bit of liquidy on the inside but I mean if you like it like that then you can have your um, butterscotch pudding pops like that or you can put it back in the freezer and leave it in there for a while which is what I might do but other than that it was really good and I think this actually turned into a success video instead of a pudding fail video. But, you know, I'm probably going to still name it a pudding fail video. And, yeah, by the way, guys, as you can see, um, I just put my makeup on. There you go. I just flipped the viewfinder upwards so I can see myself with my makeup. And I switched it up. So instead of having the gray on the inside, I put, like, a very light pink shimmery color. And I used a different eye palette. And then I actually used my eyeliner pencil. My white eyeliner pencil for this part and then I went over with a different white shadow to switch up my makeup a little bit but um I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video um I do upload videos I'm probably gonna upload the same video on my main channel too since I need to get some more videos and stuff up on that channel but um yeah I think this video might go up tomorrow I don't know if I want to do daily uploads because it's like what if I don't have enough video footage for like the next day or something like that so, um, anyway, this video will probably go up tomorrow. Um, I have all my social medias in a link down in the description below. If you guys want to go ahead and check them out, you can go ahead and check that out. And, yeah, you can add me on all my social medias. I go on you now around 5, 6, or 7 o'clock at night. Eastern Standard Time because I live in Rhode Island in America. So, that's when I go on you now. If you guys want to chat with me, I do a lot of guesting on there. I guess a lot of nice people and hopefully a lot of nice people will go on my you now. You guys can subscribe to my second YouTube channel and my main YouTube channel, whatever this video gets posted to. Probably my, both of my channels. So, um, yeah, if you like the content, please subscribe to my YouTube channels. It definitely helps me out. Um, if you do love the content, if you don't really like the content, you guys don't have to subscribe. Please hit the like button also if you guys did enjoy this video though. And I have more videos like awesome cool videos coming in the future so please support my videos and
keep watching my videos because I love you guys so much and you guys help me out so much. And it means a lot that you guys watch my videos because you guys are awesome and without you guys I would be, my YouTube channels would be nothing because I would just be doing these videos for nothing. And I really love uploading on YouTube and filming and all that other stuff and I want to get into like doing more skit videos and stuff which is super fun. And um, hopefully I could keep doing this and enjoying my time with YouTube because it's honestly so much fun and I really love filming for you guys and filming what I do in my daily life and just filming a bunch of cool videos for you guys to watch and yeah I love you guys so much and so thank you a lot for checking out my YouTube videos it really does mean a lot to me guys and I would honestly be like probably nowhere without you guys so you guys mean the whole world to me and I know I tell you this every YouTube video I probably make but you guys are honestly super amazing and it's such a beautiful day out today so I've been like outside every so often and I'm probably gonna go look at some pools for like my next YouTube video so stay tuned in my next YouTube video because yeah hopefully I'll get a new pool um, I think this pool is gonna just be temporarily though so um yeah peace out guys and I hope you all have a beautiful and wonderful day as beautiful as you guys all are see you later